Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you a niche that's going to hit its peak popularity in the next two to three months time. And then I'm also going to show you a business that allegedly made a smidge under 800,000 US dollars in profit selling one particular product inside this niche. This is a store that's currently for sale on flipper.com. So I'm also gonna show you their store setup and design. I'm also gonna show you the ad creatives that they've used to generate nearly $1.5 million in sales. With that being said, thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you find this one valuable and let's jump into it. Okay, so the niche that I'm talking about is hydrogen water. It's one that's grown slowly but surely over the course of the last sort of five to 10 years. It's one that's picking up more traction on YouTube. You'll find big time influencers um, and content creators and doctors like Dr. Huberman. Um, Joe Rogan has had a couple of guests on his podcasts talking about it. And I believe Dana White was quoted in a podcast or on a podcast um, saying he uses it as well. So it's definitely something that seems to be gathering more and more attention. If we go back to 2010 and look at when this trend peaks in popularity, we can see here, so September 2011, then September or October 2012, September 2013, September 2014, September 2015, September 2016, so on and so forth. As I record this video, it's the 3rd of July, so this gives you a good few weeks to get your ass in gear and put together a proper brand find a quality supplier, film some content, and put yourself in a great position to take advantage of this trend. The store I'm gonna show you that has taken advantage of this trend is called hydrohealth.shop. Now, in full transparency, there's something that just doesn't quite add up about this shop. So I'm gonna take you through the listing on flipper.com, show you the numbers, um, that they're claiming. I'll show you this store, I'll show you the ad creators and everything, but there's something that just seems a bit off to me. And if it was truly as profitable as it says it is, then I don't understand why they'd be letting it go for so cheap. Okay, so let's bring out my tool for this one. So hydrohealth.shop is the domain name. So there's that old debate. Do you need a .com? Do you need a .co.uk? I think in today's day and age, it doesn't really matter. And these guys are using that shop. Site age is one year. The monthly profit on average over the course of that year has been 66,000 US dollars with a very, very healthy profit margin of 51%. They have over 45,000 email subscribers, which is in itself worth a lot of money. You could probably, I mean, it's, it's difficult to be exact, but you could 45K email subscribers probably translates into I'd say $5,000 in sales every single month just from your email list if you know what you're doing. I'd say that's probably as a minimum as well. Over 20,000 orders. It'd be interesting to know where those extra 25,000 email subscribers came from, whether they have some sort of opt-in. Um, has come from Facebook and Google, so I'll be showing you their Facebook ads in a second. An average $500 to 1K profit every single day, profit margins of 20 to 50%. Let's come down then into their revenue expenses. If I get rid of my tool, we can see that this store doesn't even go as far back as September. Well, it does, it says minus $55, which for some reason, which is when this spikes in popularity, its biggest months. I would also suspect that January, as people want to become healthier, they look for healthier options, they invest in their own health. So generally, naturally would be a good time to sell a product like this. Um, and we can see, so in November, 33K revenue, 23K profit. December, 450K revenue and 280K profit. January, 646 revenue and 324 profit. Not bad going considering they didn't make a single sale until their first month of November. So within three months, they've done over a million dollars um, pretty comfortably with over half a million dollars in profit, assuming the numbers are all correct. Financial statistics then for the year, we can see annual revenue of $1.5 million, very impressive, an annual profit of $800,000 US dollars. If we come down, it links us to the Facebook page, which has 866 followers. We can come on to here. And what I'm going to show you is there's some not very kind comments on here. People saying it's a scam company. So they've obviously had issues 
with the supply, with the logistics of this store, um, probably because they grew too quickly and maybe and probably because they had a supply that couldn't keep up with demand, which is already, always a nice problem to have. Page transparency then, this page is currently running ads, so these guys are still active and selling this product. If we jump onto the Facebook ad library, there's only one creative, so I'm not 100% sure, but this might be the only creative that they're running at this moment that has generated all of those sales. Usually the ad library Unless, I'm not quite sure how it links up. If you delete it, then maybe it doesn't show in the library. I'm not 100% sure actually, I have to check on that. But this could be the one and only creative they've used to generate $1.5 million in sales. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you now. Let's make it bigger, okay. So that was the clip taken from Joe Rogan's podcast. These all look like generic stock clips they may have taken from elsewhere. I'm not sure, did that say Hydro Health on the actual product? Oh no, it's just the um, watermark across the top. But the snapshot back to the Joe Rogan podcast, which most people are obviously gonna be familiar with. Um, and then $39 is their selling point. So this is really annoying. A very kind of simple, straightforward, easy to put together clip and I'm not even sure if they've even gone to the lengths to make this content themselves. This looks like that they've just rescripted existing content that exists online. If we jump onto their Shopify store then, so this is what a $1.5 million store looks like. Um, a lot of people think that if you wanna do the big numbers, you've gotta do something crazy and have a really expensive paid theme. That's not always the case. So free shipping over $99. We know the product is less than half of that, which means they're charging for shipping. 100,000 plus orders and easy returns. We know they haven't had 100,000 orders, so that is purely there for social proof. If we come back in, we can see 20,000 orders is how much they've actually had. Let's come down the store then. So as seen on men's health or women's health, Harvard and that's the Joe Rogan logo. So having these logos on your site that people are familiar with, it makes them feel more comfortable. It helps you kind of piggyback off the reputation these brands have. And it's kind of like a manipulation of the ultimate truth. Hydrogen water has been seen on these platforms. Is it the Hydro Health hydrogen water bottle? Probably not. If we use our Koala Inspector, let's see if it will show us their best sellers. It does, which is the Health Hydro Water Bottle. A very busy product page. This I'm a big fan of though. I recommend everybody testing a setup like this so the consumer can see exactly when they will receive the product. When somebody can picture having it in their hands and knows exactly when to expect it, they're much more likely to commit to making a purchase. Think about it, when was the last time you bought something online and you didn't know when it was gonna arrive? It was probably never. You always know when it's gonna arrive. So you need to have that information on your product page. They have a buy more and save more. I actually really like how this looks. It's all using the same fonts and color schemes as the rest of the site. Too many times I'll go onto a website that has an app installed and it's in different colors and different fonts. It looks completely out of place and not like it's either part of the brand or part of the website. So they do a really good job of integrating that and making sure that it fits. They also have here the name dropping once more, the different brands that have spoken about the bottle and they actually have the logo on the bottle here too. So straight away, what we're gonna do is go down into their reviews and this one says Hydro Health, that says Hydro Health, that one says Hydro Health. The majority of these, to be fair to them, so I may be doing them a disjustice here, actually have the Hydro Health logo on. So it could be a case that one does not. So it looks like there's a mix here of the original kind of drop shipped product. And then as they've established some traction, they've probably established some form of relationship with a supplier that can print their name on the bottle, um, which I would guess has contributed significantly to the level of success that they've have that they've had. Because this is a product that's growing in popularity, more and more people jumping on the bandwagon to have your logo on the product instantly sets you apart. And I think they even put it on one of their pages saying number one original seller or something like that. But it instantly kind of validates 
that idea because you have your logo on the product. So they have this too here. So it's kind of a way of like comparing their product against others. It's setting them itself apart from any competition and positioning themselves as the original seller. And everybody much prefers to buy from an original seller rather than buying a knockoff version. If we hit the add to cart button, we can see they do a really good job of squeezing as much money out of their customers as possible. So they hit with three different, very, very, very easy to opt in cross sales here. So a cross sell is when you add in another item, an upsell is when you sell them more of the same item. So this is a really neat way of integrating it. Again, some can be really ugly and bulky, not really work very well. This one does a really good job um, of doing so. They also have this down here, the priority processing, £3.99, protect yourself by being shipped out ASAP and it's automatically ticked on too. It's really interesting they have that on there because I was always a big believer um, and still am that charging somebody for shipping is gonna negatively impact your conversion rate. So it's something worth trying for yourselves. The cart app I use is called Rebuy. It's quite an expensive one. It allows you to do something similar to this. Um, it's about hundred pounds a month, but trust me, if you uh, have an established Shopify store that's making consistent sales on a daily basis, you will make that 100 pounds a month back and then some um, in the, as long as you have a good cross sell and upsell that people opt into. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just letting you know which app I use. And so with that being said then guys, that's it for this video. I've shown you a niche that's gonna be spiking massively in trend in the next couple of months. I've shown you a seven figure setup that you can use for inspiration to make the most of it. Before you go, if you would like a personal one-to-one -one helping hand in building a business similar to one that I've shown you in this video, then I want to invite you to book a call in my calendar so we can jump on a call and have a chat in a bit more depth about how a mentorship, my mentorship works. If that sounds good to you, what you need to do is head below into the video description of this video and you'll see this here is the mentorship link. If you click that, it's gonna take you to this page here when it loads up. It's a series of five or six questions, it only takes a couple of minutes to fill out. It's an opportunity for me to kind of filter out the time wasters, to be honest. Um, go through, answer the questions honestly, try and give me as much detail as possible so I can have a chance to know where you're at now, why starting a dropshipping business is important to you, um, what you would like my help achieving in the next one, two or three months time. And if you have an achievable goal and it's something I can help you achieve, it will take you through to my calendar where you can book a time and date that suits you, where me and yourself can jump on a Google Meet, have a chat in a bit more depth. Um, and work out how that works. If that sounds good to you now, head over there, get booked in, and I look forward to meeting you. Thanks.